What's going on everybody? This is former Pennsylvania State Constable Stephen Wiggs and uh, I wanted to get slightly into first uh, part three of why the judge in New Jersey found me guilty uh, before I tap into what I have here. Um, this is law, Pennsylvania law, raw Pennsylvania law, okay? Um, the other case that the judge used to maliciously find me guilty is a case law called Commonwealth versus Roos. And to give a quick synopsis of Roos, um, a Pennsylvania State Constable in Pittsburgh had stopped the vehicle um, for reckless driving and two Pennsylvania State, uh, Constables, and they did this in the early 90s. Um, the case for the Constables fell short in proving that the Constables had the authority to uh, enforce the motor vehicle code um, because literature uh, that existed was not brought forward to show that the constables had the authority to enforce the motor vehicle code and the judge of that time made a bad ruling indicating that the constables were not police officers for the purpose of traffic enforcement. Um, the constables have a long-standing history of the traffic enforcement authority in uh, earlier years, uh, but because they did the, the uh, legal team of the office at that moment in Pittsburgh did not bring it forward during court, uh, the case did not prevail for the agency at that time. So in hindsight, the judge made a bad ruling because they did not bring forward the, the literature. Um, in that regard, the judge in my case in New Jersey took that case to try to blanket the whole agency to say that the constable's office in Pennsylvania is not law enforcement. Okay, the case never said we weren't law enforcement. The case said that we weren't uh, police officers for the purposes of traffic enforcement. So, does that say that constables can't stop vehicles? No, that just simply says that constables cannot enforce the motor vehicle code. Okay, there's other reasons for a vehicle to be stopped. You know, one could be a warrant and another could be a breach of peace. A breach of the peace is not necessarily uh, falling on traffic uh, uh, issues. It's merely putting somebody's life in danger. But that also can align with uh, the traffic laws as well. Um, so that's what that was. And the judge wrongfully used that case in my scenario. Um, case in point. I don't know if you guys can see this clear enough, but this is Pennsylvania state law. This is Pennsylvania Crimes Code and Vehicle Law Book 2021 edition from LexisNexis. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring up a few components here. Um... I bookmarked them, okay? And one is going to be Title 75, 102, subsection 102, okay? Now, we're going to dig into what a police officer is. Now, this is under Title this is Title 75, okay? This is the traffic laws, uh, identifying what a police officer is in this section, and in this section, it says police officer. Um, a natural person authorized by law to make arrests for violations of law. Okay? Follow that. I'm going to read that one more time. Police officer. Under Title 75, subsection 102. 
of this law book. And mind you, the Pennsylvania State Police also have a code book that they follow, and it's in there as well. Um, police officer, a natural person authorized by law to make arrests for violations of law. Okay? Now, I, 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 I uh, had it bookmarked. This bookmark right here. Okay. Now, we're going to go into the area of dog law. Okay. Now, understand. In the dog law area, it's going to say basically the same thing. Okay. But it's going to give a description also of who is a police officer. Who also fall under the, the uh, law of a police officer. Okay, this is uh, dog law. It's going to be um, Title Three, Subsection Four Fifty Nine Dash One Hundred Two. Okay, and here it reads: Police officer, any person employed or elected. That's the constable. Employed being municipal police officers, elected being constable, sheriff, elected, okay? Now, it doesn't mention the sheriff in this, it mentioned others, okay? Police officer, any person employed or elected by this commonwealth or by any municipality and whose duty it is to preserve peace or to make arrests or to enforce the law. The term includes constables and dog, game, fish, and forest wardens. Now, understand, they're identifying the authority of these individuals under being a police officer for the purposes of, well, the, the reason why they're identifying this law, the, uh, the authority of these individuals um, is because the the, uh, the Department of Agriculture, another state agency, is authorizing these individuals the ability to enforce the dog law. Okay? And, and, and in order for them to do so, these individuals had to be identified as police officers. So, again, I'm going to read this again. Police officer, under dog law, police officer, any person employed or elected by this commonwealth or by any, municip any municipality and whose duty it is to preserve peace or to make arrests or to enforce the law. The term includes constables and dog, game, fish, and forest wardens. This is state law, okay? This is state law. This is state law of Pennsylvania. New Jersey had no authority to find me guilty using case law and twisting it to their liking. Okay? This is raw Pennsylvania law. And there's more, okay? There's more. Let's see, have I have a little bit of time? No. I'm not going to take that kind of time. I'm going to go somewhere else with uh, more information. I'm going to come back with another video for the other information. Um, but to give a quick synopsis of these findings, this is raw Pennsylvania law. I'm taking you to school. I'm going to be the teacher in this segment. This is raw Pennsylvania law. Okay, there's no playing games with this, right? I want you guys to understand this. New Jersey has no authority to override this law. None. So they got it wrong. The constable is a police officer in Pennsylvania. That's just the bottom line. Doesn't matter who's uh butt hurt behind the reality of these laws. Okay? So you guys be good. I'll be back later on. Peace.